Tums, Panny Pies. You simply won't get tanya. Peens. Not quite peas, not quite beans, but something special in betweens. Barbara, get the big plates out. Oh, Nigel. Give your wife the best. Give her Big Ron's big pies. Come on down to what you. Come on down to what you special, where we have an ample variety. So give us me. Bammy passes butter nubs, bammy passes butter nubs, bammy passes butter nubs, bammy passes butter nubs. Family. Romance. Pit. Visit Barnsworth. It's rate good. So that's Barnsworth. Strange place, I know, but they need what we're selling, see? I've got you a meeting with the Lord Mayor today. So don't miss that bus. Are you listening? Get going! What are you still doing here, boy? Get out! Carol, I'm going to need another top-up of the letter. This has happened again. Good grief, lad. The front door is right there. We're ten stories up for crying out loud. Fella. <laughs> nice to have you around.
think of what to put on this. We'll be open in a minute, fellas. <laughs> Morning. Council tax all paid. <laughs> You're here. I spied a shiny tuppence down this hair runoff. But more fool me, my arm has become trapped. Perhaps you might see about sourcing some lubrication that I might slip free. Hmm? I need something greasy to slip me out of here. Oh. I've come down for Meg and Crest Pasty. Somewhere. But Meg's in Torpen. Oh, I guess I'll starve. this morning because this dolt has lost my keys and now we've got to wait for that useless locksmith oh i'm sorry mrs meg what am i like colin you are the most workshop fuck i've ever had the misfortune to employ oh, oh. 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 somewhere oh if 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 Close the day, the problem with chicken. What a doll. Your wife should come around sometime. We live underground, in soil and that. Anyway, I must be off. I've got some worms to suck up into my big mole mouth. How do you do, young man? Almost done, and then I can finally get home to my puzzles. I love puzzles. No chance of any of them round here, though. Oh, no. Oh. What a, what a doll. Oh. Just the man I need. The mayor's asked what me to that? clean up this little rose garden. You can start by getting on that mower. Oh, Don't be shy, lad. Give that low mower the old grab and squeeze. Just like in the Navy. That is a fine stamen. My wife could have a thing or two.
I love you. I love you. Nice firm grip on that mower, lad. I tell you, Reggie's wife could learn a thing or two. <laughs> About a cobbler's pint, eh? What's a cobbler's pint then? It's like a normal pint, but I take both my shoes off. Uh, I'd love to, Ronnie, but the beer's coming out all flat. Flat? Well, why don't you go down into the cellar and knock a few barrels about? Slim chance of that. I don't even know how to get downstairs. You can't get downstairs in your own blinking public house. Well, Florence normally does it, but she's off today. Good grief. Every morning I wake up, kind of lager, then I do a big wee, then I get out of bed and uh, go downstairs for my morning pint. You know, you need steady hands to be a locksmith. about my morning pint. I think I'll take it now, please. Right you are, Ronnie. Another morning pint coming up. You working today, then, fella? Yes. In fact, I'm supposed to be at Meg's already, I think. I'll be back in a moment for my morning pint. Oh, what's he like, eh? Come on, then. Let's pour you a pint and all on the house. That Ronnie's a character. He'll be back later, I reckon. Thank you. 
Thanks for fetching that, Ronnie lad. I'd offer you a pasty, but we've now cooked yet. Help yourself to out front back, though. you doing with that mop, boy? Oh, gosh. I'm sorry, Mrs. Meg. My mum's got me back on the mercury again. Give me strength. Found me. I'm the fridge stoat, and I'm awfully frigid. Ah, uh, no, I just. I'm actually the town bow, if you catch my meaning. school and I can do my juggling. We'll be so happy together. Colin, I'm not paying you ten pence an hour to daydream. How queer. Maybe it is noon and all a thunder. Breakfast for me. Typical. I never get my way. Oh. seen a hole as big as that before. My wife could learn a thing or two.
you think it'll work this time, Jasper? Oh, dear. Oh, it's no use, Marge. I don't think this thing's worked in quite a while. How have you been cooking fish and chips all this time? Oh, I just do a cold fry, usually. Oh! Hang on a wee minute. Where's my blinking spanner? Oh, don't tell me it's been pinched again. It'll be that senile old fishmonger bish down at the market. You better get down there and find it, or it'll be cold chips till the cows come home. Now then, Marge, about my payment. Oh, well, it looks like there's no money in till. No, no, I'm not doing it like that again. I didn't walk right for a week last time, and that vinegar smell's only just washed out. Sort yourself. on the break. Hands at half past seven. Never so gently, but your best foot forward. Oh, that's okay. I couldn't get it quite right my first 48 times either. It's nothing like walking, this. My door, is it? I'm looking for tits. Or finches. I'm not fussy. Three for two, one for all, buckle my shoe. Oh, I don't know. I better call mother. Shagging. Hey. Hello there. 
I've got a sausage here. Would you like it? Here you go. Ah! I've dropped it. That's okay. I've got another. Ah! I've dropped it again. It's all right. I've got some more inside. Back in a moo. Little fella, I'll pop you down the apples and pears in a jiffy. Ah, a fine mess. No bother there, young man. Help yourself to some scrambled bread on your way out. Better get a dustpan and bush. Off your pop then. Oh. oh, thank goodness you're here. I've been sucking this pipe all morning and I haven't got a drop out of it. Little Tom Anthony here has nearly crossed it over. We need to dampen that topsoil pronto. She needs a drink, lad. She's drier than Meg's fruitcake. <coughs> I'll not be winning any rosettes at this rate. But I cannot stand a snail. Every time I put one in my mouth, I'm nearly sick. Won't you do me a favour? If you see any snails, give them a clip round the ear all for me. I simply do not like snails at all.
Dan Goodness Irenat, this show's a light mess. It was an answer, you know, won't you? I'd do it myself, but me gout's playing up. Cracking work, lad. The stills never know better. Oh, a fine scene. Jasper, I've no idea how that got there. I pull the other one. Passing off my spanner as a stiff kipper, is it? But we've been friends for 40 years. Why on earth would I betray your trust now? Uh, why don't you spare me the excuses, you fat trout? I'm taking this back to my toolbox where it belongs. How embarrassing. Have you heard about Big Ron's? What's he done? No pies. No pies? I know, that's what I said, I know. On a Thursday morning, no less. On a Thursday morning? What are you going to do? Well, I don't know, but I'd eat pie for tea. Oh, well, of course you do. Why don't you ask Al Beverly to make you one? Oh, I suppose we do that jar of mustard that he's using. Well, there you go then. I'll be round at six. Well, you're not invited. No more dinner guests. Not after last time. Oi! I can't believe that big man no pie should hang his head. Ah. Oh, wow, hold on. Me fish pop. What's all this about then? Who's done that? Ooh. Doug's the name, rugs are the game. Janice the wife, died in Corfu, 1992. Don't ask me how. Ah! Oh, gee. Can I help? Oh, I. Very handsome, my dog. Who knows what some food is? Yeah, you can have any of that. Ah, Karen won't be needing them where she's gone. Better them. Might need a bit of a wash, though. Oily babs, get them fresh, get them warm, get them moist. High in carbs, higher in oil. No breakfast, and now no lunch. Oh, I guess I will just starve. Ah. Yes, 
Content. Set him off now, and you? Well, what? It is big. Well, you didn't have to say it like that. Should be so soft about it. I've got a big tour. They don't see me tricking bananas. Across a thick rope of wire. Ah, a horseshoe. Big bird. Big pies, tiny pies. All I need is my burger. Oi. Tom's from now on. Leave it be, I'm squashing cardboard boxes in here. Oh, you've come just in the nick of time. I came in as usual, opened up shop, counted till, went to make my first buy of the day, and then I realised, we've no meat! I can't make a pie without meat! It's the second most important ingredient! Ooh, I hate to say it, but you'll have to get down to Sam's hams and pick us up some of his steak. Oh, a sorry state indeed. Florence! Get that oven warmed up for when this young man comes back. Yes, of course, Mr. Warren. Right away. Come on then, lad. Let's be having you.
Amelia knew you'd do this. Crikey, look at the size of this lad's marrow. Says here that tomatoes are a fruit. Looks like we didn't need that hose after all, lad. Right, so all we need now is fertilizer. Do I smell quail? Oh, I see. Was but a tomato. More for me. Dirty love, Herbert. Dirty love. Hey, bees, there's some really good looking fish in here. That one's got a nice set of teeth. I hope we catch some at bears, I'm starving. And I don't to eat since I've been to chewing gum from under railings this morning. There's some nice ones in here today. Ah, the dingleweed. A most invasive and hostile flower. If even slightly agitated, it will burst and scatter the seed. Fortunately, I've caught this one before it could do any damage. Never touch a dingleweed with the open palm. They are dangerously virile. Oh. some wisdom for you. Never give an owl a toll. I can't seem to understand it. I pick up all the litter and I put it in a bag. And then, next thing I know, it's roaming everywhere. I'll never make puzzle night at this rate. Still, I do love litter. Dads were diggers, so there were always spades knocking about the house. Picked one up one day, never put it back down. My drain pipes are all blocked up over there, and I need them cleaning out. Won't you give it a go? Great job! 
It's only Nancy's new bloody boyfriend. She's got a new one every week. All right. It'll be nice to have a proper sit-down tea. I'd rather have a sit-down wee. Oh, behave. Make though. Oh. Oh. I'll have a chicken bake, please, love. Ah, right, well, with no butter today. Colin's gone and lost it, so it's vegan. I hope that's all right. Oh, no, I'd rather shit bed. Us. It's fine. You are being lied to. Hey! Happened again, me pasty pop. Meg, what's all this? Uh, oh, oh. Ooh. Do you think it's possible to duel world champions? Left hand, right hand, double bash. Good kick. That's kick then. So, I was the television last night. The numbers were getting higher and higher. The programming more and more irreverent. I was almost entrapped by the telly shopping. A long form piece about a wet and dry vacuum cleaner almost caught my eye. But then I happened upon the strangest of things. An entire television channel dedicated to women on the phone. Of course, I dialed in immediately, and the operator connected me to the most enchanting lady, Chantelle. We spoke for hours of Tolstoy, and of Dickens, and of Tchaikovsky, and of course, anatomy. And see, that's why I needed your credit card details, Larry. Right, Ronnie. For the telly ladies. Yeah, that's right, Larry. That was for a night of mutual pleasure. Right you are, Ronnie. Now, about my time, I won't be paying it. I need all of that money for the wet and dry vacuum. I wonder, Larry, just how wet can we get it?
Hello. He's just the bits you found his spanner. Shame about Mr. Bish, though. I'll not be buying from him again. Aye, cracking work reclaiming my spanner from that despicable fishmonger. Unfortunately, I've just noticed my screwdriver's gone missing too. It's probably that daft lassie, Kerry, down at Price Shaggers. Right, away you go, laddie. I can't get into this thing without my trusty screwdriver. What the devil are you still doing here, boy? I need that screwdriver quick sticks! Is that fire still, Brock? Come on, I'll eat him raw. Oh, oh, oh. I get lonely sometimes. So I like to have a little look through the window. Rubbish in my bin. I won't. Monkey pup. Hey! I don't know. Uh. Oh, thank goodness you're here. They're everywhere. Somebody must have laid them down from the roof. Can you fetch us that box of rat poison from top shelf? I've been on my best behaviour. I deserve a treat, not a mouse. Pickle, passing off my flathead is your produce, is it? Yes, but learn enough, would I do that? 
I can't eat on my back for a minute in this town without one of you's pinching my tools. I swear down, I've never seen this before in my life. Ah, you likely story. I'll be filing a complaint with the head office, that's for sure. Hey, anyway, back to the chipple with us. You're right with you, Jasper. Anyway, thanks for that, kiddie. You have never looked back yet. Don't put your bin in my bin. Eh? Her and her sister were so lovely when they used to babysit them. Very poor from those pickle sisters. Ah! Aye, thanks for helping me get the screwdriver back, laddie. I wish I could say we were done, lad, I really do. But as I got back, I noticed my hammer's gone walkies. He must have been pinched by that no-good yob, Frank. He's probably doing at the brook, poaching fish as we speak. Hurry doing along to the brook before Frank does himself a mischief with my hammer. Quick time, lad, come on. If I don't get this fryer fixed soon, Marge is gonna have my pants soon. Don't put me in your bin. Ooh, kill it. Quicken head, blacken lung, smoking's best when you start it young. I used to go to bishes, but my doctor says the brain will give me go. Oi. Again. Didn't expect to see you twice in one day. Well, all right then. Hey, hey, hey. I'm still turpentine. My father's the county ombudsman. either down the compost heap or off crawling through keyholes at night to find a shiny penny. How's that for dirty work?
Just the man I need. New stocks come in and need setting up. You'll give it a hand again, won't you, lad? Lovely stuff, lad. Couldn't have done it better myself. Apparently, he's going to Sam's for his rum. Never. They are luscious, though. Well, ah, they are luscious. No disagreement there. But another man's meat in your pie. What are we, Sheffield? Oof. Where do I get my rugs of such high quality? I make them at home with my seven adopted children. They do, Miss Janice, but we try not to talk about it. Oof. Well, well. I never thought I'd see the day where the big man would come to me for his meat. Come up here and have a do on this thing. Do you know how glue is made? I do. I found out when I was only seven years old, after my mum went lame. Father took it at knackers that very same evening, and I wept. When I was scarcely three years old, my father, mistaking me for a small cut of venison, hung me out in smokehouse. It was nearly a day dangling over the embers before my sisters found me. By then, I was already stricken with a black lung. The doctor said I shan't likely see my twelfth summer, and I wept. One dark winter's night, my father brought me and my sisters a lamb each, and put a single sheep knife between us. Mine, the run through the litter, jolted as I made the cut. It bleated and bled for a fortnight, and I wept. Excellent work, lad. A fine cut indeed. That'll make quite the pie, I'll tell thee now. Now I suppose all we need to do is... Right! I've forgotten the most important ingredient. Pie mix. Here we are. I'm sure there's the number in here somewhere. Ah, here it is. Pastry Pete's Premium Mixture Company Pie Mixture Delivery for Pies.biz Pastry Pete's Premium Mixture Company Pie Mixture Delivery for Pies.biz Horrible raw! 
All right, lad. The number is... Oh. One. Two. Another two. Six. Hello, this is Pasty Pete's Premium Pasty Pastry. Colin, is that you? Oh, hello, Mr. Ron. Yeah, Pasty Pete's off today. He's took Auntie Margaret down to Guernsey. So you've forgotten my pie mix, then? Oh, no. I'm ever so sorry, Mr. Ron. My memory's not been so good since my mum put me back on the business. Well, you better bring us three big mixed boxes post haste. Yes, uh, I'll be right over. Oh, there you are, Colin. Here you go, Mr. Ron. I came as fast as I could. Ooh, blowing. What the chore? Oh, hello, Colin. I had no idea you were Ooh. in the pie industry. I see. Oh, yes. I've always wanted to work with Crush. Oh, young love. You're looking extra sweaty today, Colin. Thanks. It's actually butter. Slippy. S super slippy. You should see me get down a ginnel. I'm like a whippet. I love whippets. Really? They're skinny. The doctor says I've got a very similar bone structure. It shows you. My dentist says I've got the teeth of a Springer Spaniel. Maybe we should, uh, I don't know, go to the hygienist together sometime. Oh, to Colin! Ooh, Florence! Ooh! Oh. Florence! Now, Florence. Enough, Enough for everyone. everyone. Get his end down to Big Ron's, where we've made our biggest pie yet. Big Ron, how big is the pie? It's a pie so big, you could feed a family of five for 40 years, and you'd still have enough for supper. It's a pie so big, you'd get lost in it. It's a pie so big, I have dreamt of it since I was a small boy. A pie so big, that I feel as if I have been fired in my way. Now, look, I know you've told me before, but why can't you just, well, you know, make your pies a bit... It's the meat and the bun of the burger that I enjoy. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, me weenie sausage meal. Blooming heck. I just can't catch a break. Oh. Uh, it's all for sale. It's what our Karen would have wanted. I've been tipped off that someone's selling counterfeit goods here in the market. But for the life of me, I can't work out which stall it is. Such a good buy. Oh. 
Herbert's going to have a right job on getting fertiliser with Rog in this state. No way to run a business. Oof. What's he doing in there? Shouting. Six down starts with a D. Liquid refreshments. Denby Dale. your massive head. Oh, it isn't massive. For crying out loud, Rog, there's no shame in it. Ooh, what? He's gone as mad as a magpie on a Monday morning. Oh. Grab us a sack of that brown and let's get the hell out of here. Oh, Roger. It's just too big! <laughs> Ooh. It's just too big! Too big! That won't fit. No. Extra, extra large. Too big! This is a family restaurant. Too big! Too big! It's just too, too big! Too big! Too big! Too big! Too big. Too big. Too big. Too big. <laughs> right then, Rog. I'll see you next week. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad that's over. I can't stand a fuss. Ah! Any sign of knockoffs? Whoa. What a palaver. I've never liked to look a clock in the face. They make me ill at ease. Them bobbies a bit steep, but they do look nice. Hello! <laughs> Hang on a minute. These watches are painted on.
Summon my six gulls back to me. Uh, that didn't work. Go find them. Dear young lad, looks like we just missed him by a truncheon's breath. work, cabin boy. You've retrieved my finest lieutenants. There's a bright future ahead of you on this ship. Attention! Hang on a minute. These coasters are one way. Very strange. Kick that. Kick in these. about then. 
Well, it follows the interpersonal dramas of the street's inhabitants. All of their affairs and betrayals and whatnot. It's very compelling. Not like this shit. this now. They're both in the bin. Flourish, Mum Wang, she said you're a bitch. No, she didn't. Yeah, she did. She said you're a big fat bitch. Gary, give over. No, you're a proper bitch, you, Florence. Everyone says so. Even Colin. George, don't talk about Colin or I'll smack you. some more sausages and I'm going to poke them through the hole. Here we go. Oh, that's all right. Here's, ah, oh. one more. Here, ah, oh, drop that one too. I'm afraid I've run out of sausages now. I'll go to the shop and buy some more. Rhubarb folding on the way down. <laughs> Go! Oh, you, you little, you little dusty gentleman, you. Go on, off with you now. Don't be coming back here. Oi. Let's get her open. Steady as you go. Look at this 
My beautiful baby boy. And bigger than I thought. Daddy? Daddy? Cream of the crop. you old chew stick. You nearly scared me soft. What can I do you for? Sorry to bother you, Herbert, but there's been reports of crime in the area. Shit! That's right. Have you seen this criminal at all? Hang on a minute. That's no criminal. That's the honest businessman who sold me this brand new watering can. I'm afraid that's no businessman. That's bootleg, Bill. And that's no watering can. That's a watering can't. Bugger me, I paid ten bob sterling for that. It happens to the best of us, Herbert. Just last week, he swindled my wife with a wet dream catcher. So keep your eyes peeled, your head on a swivel, and a jolly on your button. And I'll need to take this down to the station. Good grief, this town is going to the dogs. You better keep an eye out, lad. himself stuck in the well again. They'll know what it means. Shut up and have your spoon. Are you here to get his hand with fishing? That's bait box over there. Dear, oh dear, this large and flaccid specimen seems to have already discharged. We can only pray that its seeds don't take root. Oh! Ah, good idea. You can go in and all. Did you see that bird area? That's our bird, that is. Ah, Bubba Bossy, that's a far fun. He couldn't take him full custom though. He had to pretend he was a pencil case. And now he's got lead by his name. Oh, catch of the day! You've been up to some mischief with us, I'll bet. What are you on about, Jasper? I don't know. Wait till you and Ma hears about this! I'm taking this back to my toolbox, and I'll see you at the triple lad. Just be your papa doing me nothing. Ah! Baby. Yeah. Uh, 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 uh. And he said, £2.50 for parking. And I said, good God, I'm a duck. I wish I'd never asked. Thank you. 
Prince Collingcold. He's bringing me some roses to smell. We're going to buy with balls on a date. We're going to go to second base, swapping shoes. Kerry, if you don't give over, I'm going to tell Mummy I've been drinking a nail varnish in the park. He's nearly finished. Why don't you see if he needs another round? I can't believe the cheek of that wee boy. I dread to think the trouble he was up to with this old thing. Anyway, I think I've almost cracked her open. Take a look inside, won't you? See if you can't flush all this muck out. That's your pipes all cleaned out. And I fixed the fryer. <laughs> oh, thanks, lovey. I hope it wasn't too much bother. I'll put you some chippies on. I need bother at all. But where does all that oil drain out to anyway? Oh, I've got no clue, love. Open for business. Morning. Ooh. Florence, Dr. Gold about your psoriasis. He said it's terminal. I don't have psoriasis, Kerry. You just colour me in with a felt tip pen when I'm sleeping. <laughs> oh dear. Poor lad's in a right state. I'd see what's wrong, but Bobby says I've got to stay away from windows now. Uh. <sighs> oh, hello there, young man. Thank goodness you're here. I've got this delicious cup of tea here, you see. But uh, I'm afraid it's as black as a bin bag in there. It really is. I'd go and get some more milk. I, I would, but the, the, the trouble is, I'm afraid I'm... 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 I'm milk shy. <laughs> want to live by. Never put a shoe in a shoe. Hmm. Oh, thank goodness you're here, lad. 
Ah, oh, Bessie's sick as a pig. Chippy's usually perk her up, though. Oh, you couldn't go up to Marge's and get us some, could you? She's neither use nor ornament till she's had her chippies. Poor cow. Finished them all off. Uh, the big one needed both hands. <laughs> oh. uh. Job. How do? Hi there, Mr. and Mrs. Bingy. Very nice to meet you both. Now then, Jack, how about a lager beer? Ah, go on then. Hey, I like him already. <laughs> wow, Mrs. Bingy. This is delicious. I've never had pie and sweet before. Thank you, Jackalus. Well, what do you normally have with your pie at all, lad? Well, usually the pie is big enough on its own. Big enough? Uh -oh. oh, look, please, don't make a fuss. Big enough? No, love, I won't have it. Not under my roof, not on my dinner table. Love, please. I really didn't mean anything by it. You shut your mouth. Oh, damn. And you can shut it and all. No daughter of mine is going with a big pie, man. Never in all my years of service. Disgraceful. Oh, oh. Bobby knocking, is it? Well, how about I give you two of these? This has me kicking days are over. Don't know what I'll do now. For me, favourite drinks in order. Gotta be pale ale, dark ale, light ale, wet ale, dry ale, hay bale, tiny snail, fixed price mortgage. Do you know the seven signs of a stroke? Think fast. F. Face. Is it too big for their head? A. Are they having a stroke? S. T. Time to call the Coast Guard. I thought we 
we were finished for the day. But we've had to come down and sort this out. Uh, Jasper should have left that by a rock. I prefer them cold, personally. Better texture, too. Doing then? Oh, there's no hope. He's lost his marbles. I mean, it's early days yet, but they say it can deteriorate quite quickly. He's been ringing me up all day, complaining about a little man coming down his chimney and making a mess. You're here. It's my breakfast time already, and I need some shopping. But I'm bed bound, and I don't like other hands touching my shopping. Might you be able to assist? See the back of you, you wee melon head. Uh, actually, I've got just the job for you. Why don't you head down to Price Shaggers and pick us up some spirit level bubbles? <laughs> hey, boys. <laughs> <laughs> How does that sound? Right, away you go. I've got it tough, me. Yeah? Huh? We both do. We're tatties. Oh, aye. Yep. 40 to a bed. Dirt for breakfast. Dirt for dinner. And we also sleep in sacks. Exactly. And for what? Best case scenario, we're peeled, chopped up and drowned in oil. Aye, we've got it tough, us. Aye, we've got it tough. But at least we're all right now.
looking much better, Bessie. And just in time, too. We better be setting off. Oh, we don't want to miss our special appointment. Oh, I hope we find the place okay. Apparently, it's opposite our little field. The house with the blue door. Well, here it is. Oh, I'm too nervous to knock. You do it, Bessie. No. You're nervous too? Oh dear, oh dear. We'll be here all day. Ooh. I've never had a bath before. So, do you, do you come here often? This is awfully nice. I got it from a car boot sale. No, I went and I was... I said, that's an awfully strange car boot. And he said, well, it's a hot tub. Uh, find the place OK, then. Thanks for coming. <laughs> Can you drink this? Sleep it off down the station. What are you wearing? Green dungarees and a flat cap? You're not going to believe this. Heavens to beetroot. I need to get that fixed. Oh, 
don't need... No, oh, right, yeah, yeah, it's, it's not mealworms. It's meals for worms. And it's a bag of soil. I said, in arrears? Well, I could try, but it's your wife. Quack, <laughs> quack. This. Never give a trout the benefit of the doubt. bubbles is it well you're in luck we just got a fresh batch in this morning go in the back yeah look you'll need this <laughs> good luck says it's an oven glove where else am i supposed to put it in the oven 
Ben! Oh, hello! Oh! Oh! Is that real felt? How much? Ten bob. Very reasonable. What do you reckon, love? We've still got that cabbage money. Is that Bootleg Bill? Look, everyone. This young man's caught Bootleg Bill. It's more of a Cumberland Cross, really. Settle down, settle down. Thanks to this young man's incredible police work, I can safely declare bootlegging in this town has been knocked on the head. Still at large. Oh. Only 40 years out of date. We'll take the lot. Hello, shopkeep. Hello. Oh dear, this one's imaginized. All together, that's. Bob. Bye bye, shopkeep. Yeah. Okay, I think you've had enough, you greedy little piglet. Come on, yep, come on through, come on through. That's a public bridal way, this. I'll get you a key cut, I'll call Bonnie right now, in fact. Well, is it brown on both sides? Right. Is it hot to the touch? Mm -hmm. 
Well, Brian, it sounds like you've toasted it. No, it's not going to go back. Oh, this is the very last thing I wanted to happen. A whole pack of snails in the garden. Oh, dear. Oh, no. Oh, no. Ooh, get away from me. Oh, horrid snail. Oh, there's another one going down the well. Hang on, where's your more wife? You know what? Never mind. A little off piece here, but another thing worms really love a rooster's egg. It's not an easy snatch, but by God, is a protein worth it. We had fins, we had gills instead of shins. But we wore a pair of trousers all the same. Now then, youngin, new stock here, I'd show you know the drill. Hey, look at that! A fishy feast for the eyes. Not that one, hug. Snow, cocktail sausage, down the snorkel. Haven't been able to enjoy a buffet since. Ah. Another thrilling instalment of the newspaper. Ten bob well spent. A burger a day makes me feel good. Oh! Oh no! I've just got off the phone with our Karen. Turns out she says don't sell all my clothes on Bandwidth Market like last time. Ah! Hey! Now then, Rog, what's up with you? It's my head, Ron. It's just too big. Too big? 
You know me. I don't reckon out can be too big. Does that know? People used to rip me for my head and all. Really? Aye. At school, they used to call me Panhead. And the kids would call me Fathead. But look at me now. I've made big my business. And I've done all right. And that's done all right and all. Your own shop. Best throwing arm in town. And your Florence is doing well, too. Three jobs. And she's nearly got a B-Tech. Oh, that's true. She's off to uni next year. Oh, there you go. Go on, let's get down pub and have a yard. The boys would love to see you. Heat on that paint, Rog. <laughs> I know. It's nearly as big as mine. <laughs> <laughs> it is fucking massive.
Your dinner's ready. Love? Hey, love. Look who's come for tea. Hello, lovey. Just in time for soup. All homemade. But oh no. It looks as if our cuckoo clock is broken. <laughs> Oh dear, oh dear, it's really broke. Please won't you help us fix our clock? Forget that clock and batch this mall. We need to knock him down the hall. Your gun's fine. Come here instead and help me slice my crusty bread. Spin my grinder round and round. Don't stop until my meat is drowned. I think it's still a little broke. Help us fix our ticky tock. Where have you been, lad? Can't you see? There's 40 moles and one of me. Cherry could a proper slice. Move the handle left and right. Spinning quickly is the key to make the mince for shepherd's tea. That minky clown come out with this. I need to chop up all my fish. Help me, please. I'm in distress. I just can't see with all this mess. Forget that, truck. We need you more. There's too much soup spilled on the floor. That's it, young man. You've mocked enough. Now help me chop me tatties up. Help me keep the crime at bay. I don't need stroking every day. Really, Dave, make it quick. Spin us round and make us sick. Hurry <laughs> up and make it tick. Give that filthy mole the stick. Slice the bread and make it thin. Careful now, my arm is in. That's it, young and bash that bloke. Won't you give my dog a stroke? Spin it, let's see what I've got. Push until we both fall off. <laughs> Do you not hear what we both said? Bash that mole until it's dead. Cut straight through that lovely crust. I don't feel super, but needs must. Slash me up and right in two. Steady on, this bed's brand new. Help us with your sticky floor. I think they need a little more. Hang on, why is it me and so? Oh, Reggie's quite unwell. Now we've hit the overload. Send us flying down the road. Think so, Cook is really bad. Bop the ball. He's in our hole. Bush is in, he's nearly dead. Put the gold until he's dead. Push that box and squash these two. Eat it up, it's good for you. Bang the nail now, please don't fuss. It's better if you stay with us. Time to tick him, ticky tuck. Get him, bash him, make him stop. You have the right to get knocked down. Chop that fish, your what comes out. I miss my dad, I miss my mum. In your tummy, yum, yum, yum. I love the smashy bandy sound. Don't be coy now, stick around. Put the fish in the hole. Eat the sea. Bash the ball. Bash the bat. Bash the bat. Smash the bat. Fix the glass. Oh, there you are, lovey. It should be ready for you now if you'd like to bob in. Ah, oh, thank goodness you're here. I'm just about to tuck into this delicious Amsani and I've lost the mayoral mustard.
I've been since I saw thee on Il Clemore Bartat. We're as the bin since I saw thee. We're as the bin since I saw thee. We're as the bin since I saw thee on Il Clemore Bartat. On Il Clemore Bartat. On Il Clemore Bartat. There's been a court in Mary Jane on Il Clemore Bartat. There's been a court in Mary Jane. There's been a court in Mary Jane. There's been a court in Mary Jane. On Il Clemore Bartat. On Il Clemore Bartat. On Il Clemore Bartat. I'll go and get the dear to cowed on Il Clemore Bartat. I'll go and get the dear to cowed. I'll go and get the dear to cowed on Il Clemore Bartat. On Il Clemore Bartat. On Il Clemore Bartat. Then we shall eat to bury thee on Il Clemore Bartat. Then we shall eat to bury thee. Then we shall eat to bury thee on Il Clemore Bartat. On Il Clemore Bartat. On Il Clemore Bartat. Then twirms will come and eat the hop. On Il Clemore Bartat. Then twirms will come and eat the hop. Then twirms will come and eat the hop. On Il Clemore Bartat. On Il Clemore Bartat. On Il Clemore Bartat. Then ducks will come and gobble up twirms. On Il Clemore Bartat. Then ducks will come and gobble up worms. Then ducks will come and gobble up worms. On Il Clemore Bartat. On Il Clemore Bartat. On Il Clemore Bartat. That's where we get our own back. On Il Clemore Bartat. That's where we get our own back. Where we get our own back. That's where we get our own back. On Il Clemore Bartat.